Okay, so this step comes after you have spoken about your methods, materials and media um, for your idea development. Now we're just going to gather some feedback from other students in the class to decide um, which concept we're going to go forward with. So you'll find this feedback page in your folio. What we want to do first is just get rid of these instructions to make a bit more space. Then what we're going to do, we're going to draw a line down the middle. So we have each side for the concept. Uh, we have that line there. Then what we need to do is literally just write in the titles concept one and concept two. Okay. So we have these here now. Um, before we move ahead, we're just going to insert um, some tables because we're going to do a positive minus and interesting table or a PMI table um, that will allow us to make our decision on which concept we choose. So all you need to do is go insert, you go to table, so we need three uh, columns and two rows. So we want one of those for each side. So we're going to have one over here and we just put PMI in the boxes. Once you've created one, you can simply command C, command V, that allows you to copy and paste it. Okay. So for the next step, what we need to do is go to classwork. And under classwork, you will see class nine. Um, at this point, all you need to do is click on this link here. That'll take you to this Padlet website. Okay. So what you're going to do is post both of your concepts. So you can simply do that by going to add post. You click on this little upload button, pick your file. So for instance, I'm just going to upload my Goldie one again. Then you'll write the title for this typeface and your name next to it. So now you have posted both your ideas. The next stage is you're going to find two other students, so two separate students, and you're going to add a comment of feedback to their work on the ones that you like most, okay? So what I want you to do first is give a little like of the one you like, and then in the comment section, using your design elements, I want you to write what it is that you like about the typeface. So, for example, this one, my comment might be, I find the spiky texture used on the typeface on the, yep, um, really exciting. And then tell me why it's exciting. It creates a great sense of energy. Awesome. And then simply all you need to do is click this little arrow and it'll post your comment. Okay. So once the class has done this, um, you will have some feedback comments that what you need to then do is simply screenshot these. So if you're on a Mac, you can do it by command shift four. If you're on an iPad, you can simply take a photo. And if you're on a Windows computer, you can do it by holding the Windows key and pressing the print screen button. Um, that'll allow us to have an image here. And then with your feedback, you're going to post that on to your online folio. So for concept one, um, this one's actually for concept two. So now I'm gathering some feedback from my peers. So in design, we want to be gathering feedback um, from the outside world um, to influence our final designs, okay? So then the next step, once you've gathered all your feedback, is to simply gather this into the positives, the minuses, and what people have found interesting. Then the second step, is to list the things you see as positives for that typeface. What you see might be negatives for the typeface. For example, 
Um, it might not um, appear well when used in a body of text, so it might be hard to read. Um, another thing could be uh, in terms of a positive, um, it could be a really bold title font. And what's interesting, um, I think you can talk about the interesting elements about the typeface. Then, once you've completed both PMIs for both concepts, you're going to write a quick evaluation telling me which one you've chosen. So for the evaluation, it can be quite brief. All you need to say is the positives within this typeface are, and then you just want to use what you've found in um, your PMI table. Then the final step is to go on and say, I'm going to create this typeface using, and then you just want to list what materials, methods, and media you are going to use to create that. So, as a final, you'll have feedback from your peers for both of them. I'll give you feedback as well on there that you'll have copy and pasted. You'll complete the PMI table in terms of placing this uh, feedback into the tables from other people and then adding your own as well. And then finally write an evaluation uh, of what the positives are, what essentially why you've chosen it and how you're going to create this in terms of your methods, materials and media then you are ready for the refinement stage.